Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Addison396 and today we're going to be looking at the brand new preview build. Build? Build? The brand new preview build for Xbox One. Uh, the one that includes Cortana. So first of all, we're just going to jump into the preview video. Bear with me, it's just a little updates and things like that. And then we'll jump into exploring it a little bit more in depth. The preview update for June is out with some newly streamlined activities. First off, your games and apps are now at the top of your home screen. Move one step to the right to get to your collection. New sorting options have been added, and your ready to install items have been moved out into their own area. Cortana has taken over voice commands on Xbox One. You can use a Kinect for voice control, and Cortana also responds to commands you give over your headset mic. Turn on Cortana in the guide, and then say, hey Cortana, instead of Xbox to start voice commands. The store has also been reorganized. Everything is on one screen. Scroll down to see the categories. Find Facebook friends who are on Xbox Live. In the friends area of the guide, choose suggestions. Select find Facebook friends and follow the steps. You'll see your Facebook friends who are also looking for Xbox Live friends. Discover more. Get information and tips from Xbox Help. So there we go, that was the little intro video. As you can see, there's quite a few little updates to the UI and the integration of Cortana in this update. Um, a few things that I do like that they mentioned, uh, the Find Friends thing. I'd like to see that integrated with Twitter because you know, I'm not on Facebook or I'm not on it that often. So I'd like to see it integrated with, with Twitter, but you can see that there, Find Facebook Friends. Uh, also, uh, a few little notes actually. Um, when you're starting, uh, th this is basically a very, very rough preview build, I would say. It's super stable. Not, I've not had game crashes or app crashes, but I've had things that don't work properly, basically. Um, so when you're starting up Cortana, something that I had happen to me was I had this little thing here uh, pop up like you did in that video, but I didn't have all the settings automatically enable you know, the things that Cortana needs to do or needs to use, I didn't have them automatically ticked. So if you're having problems with Cortana, don't give up straight away. It is super buggy at the moment, but try and go and uh, check out the settings first. So let's have a look what Cortana can do. In this little blue box here that you can't see very well, it says see all tips. Now, I think there's a few extra things other than uh, what you used to be able to say on Xbox uh, you know, an Xbox, snap an Apple, Xbox, whatever. Uh, you can now do things like weather and all the things that Cortana would normally do. So let's have a look at some interesting things. For example, bleh, Xbox record that now turns into, hey, Cortana, record that. So let's have a look at other things, uh, places, directions. So you can do things like this, for example, and it will just bring it up on on the snap to right hand side in Bing. So let's go down to push to talk and ask her something. Let's say, uh, I don't know, what should we ask her? What What's the weather like outside? It's kind of overcast at the moment. I don't know whether it knows where I am, so let's try this, okay. What's the weather like out there? Oh. Right now, it's 14 and mostly cloudy. Oh, so it's not, not too bad. I think I'm in London, but I guess that's to do with where my Xbox is set up. And then as you can see, this is basically like a little Bing interface, similar to like Cortana that you would get on a, a Windows 10 PC. Uh, you just click on that, <clears throat> and it brings it up in Bing, and then what you'd normally do is, <clears throat> sorry, I've got something in my throat. What you'd normally do is uh, make it full screen. Oh, how do I do this? Hang on. And then start, and then, ah, so it's not letting me go full screen. Hang on then. So I think this might have bugged. See, it's, it's still kind of buggy. Let me go to Cortana. So I'm supposed to be able to move around this like web page here and it's not allowing me to. So I'm just gonna close it down, try something else and then see if it'll, see if it'll do it properly. Let's say, um, let's go to like, I don't know, Google something. Hey Cortana, google.com please. So that's kind of cool. Okay, and then see now if I click on this, does it take me to the web? Ah, that's okay. There we go. 
and then it just brings it up basically on the on the left for you, and then you can unsnap that. So basically, everything you can do on Cortana on Windows 10, you can now do on this one. So it's kind of cool, and then there's also extra integration. Basically, Cortana now owns all the stuff that you would normally say Xbox for, and you just have to say, "Hey, Cortana," and she'll pop up. So let's try that again with my mic in. Hey, Cortana. Ah, it's it's kind of cool. It wasn't actually recognizing my. Uh, I'm kind of speaking quite fast for now, so it's not recognizing what I'm saying. But it wasn't recognizing me saying "Hey, Cortana" before today. It wasn't recognizing it very well at all. Um, let's see how it does with voice recognition just very quickly. I'll try and speak how I would normally speak, a bit slower for it. So I'll just say, I don't know, a normal sentence. Uh, let's say I've got a bit of rolling tobacco in front of me here. Let's say smoking seriously harms you and others around you. Let's see how that does. Smoking seriously harms you and others around you. See, that's not bad, you know. That's not bad. Wow, okay. Uh, let's try one last one. Let's try. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a box of chocolate. Yeah, a box of cereal in front of me. Uh, let's just read off the back of it here. Contains 15% of the nutrient reference value of B5 or 5B vitamins and iron. And iron contribute to normal energy yielding metab metabolisms. Jesus Christ, I can't even speak it, so if we can get that. How did it do? It contains 15% of the nutrient reference value RV5 out of... Yeah, it's not too bad. I made mistakes there, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's do... Let's uh, finish with Cortana now and just show you very quickly the changes to the UI. So what we've got here is my games and apps is now down on the right, as you saw. Down here, it just goes straight down to your pins if you right trigger it and left trigger goes back up to the top. And then you've got your most recent ones here, basically. Um, You've still got control over these pins. Uh, you can still move a pin, for example, and things like that. Let's go back up to uh, my games and apps. This is one of the things that I really like. Um, ready to install was kind of buggy for me. When I used to scroll to the right, it wouldn't always appear there, sometimes for minutes on end. And I know it's probably due to my slow connection, but having a thing in the side there, which is just always ready to install, it just means that it's... <sighs> I guess it's more likely to work, I guess. It's more like if I can go straight to it and get it to load, then it, you know, then it works. I'm not having to like hope that ready to install pops up on the right for me to then go on it and get it to load, okay? I can just go here and then hope it loads basically. So yeah, it's kind of cool. You can obviously change your settings like they said up here, small titles, large titles, medium, small title, tiles, it just changes that. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything else really. Sort A to Z and sort by letter. So yeah, there you go. And you can search if you just click on one of these. You can just skip to something. So I want Star Wars. Oh, I think I've got Star Wars installed, maybe. So, uh, yeah, you can just do it like that. So what else have we got? We've got the queue has been changed. Uh, the queue's really nice now. <clears throat> when you install something, so let's go and install something real quick. It actually gives you a lot more info. And I like this because I was on a super slow connection. Like I say, I'm on a really slow connection. And it... <clears throat> Before it would sometimes take bloody, you know, 10 minutes before it gives me 1% if it's that big a game, something like Fallout 4, right? So if we go and install this now, install, and then jump to the queue. Once it loads, let me just see where my phone is. I think my phone's hardly on any. Yeah, see, so now we've got more information. So we've got how far it is along. We, well, we've got a percentage now. We've got how many megs it's doing, and we've got the speed that it's downloading at. And then it's also on the left hand side there. If you want to go onto other things, you can just see it underneath the queue on the left hand side there. And I think that's really nice. You know, now I know it's downloading. It's definitely downloading, even though it's on zero percent, and it could stay on zero percent for a couple of minutes or so. I know it's definitely downloading. So I think that's a really nice um, update. So thank you very much for that one, Xbox. That one's really cool. So let's go and take a look at the store very quickly, see what that's got to offer, see the changes. So basically, um, they've kind of like changed, they've cleaned up the front of the store, basically, is what they've done. So they've squashed everything down, they've kept browse games, apps and movies and TV and everything down there. So there's little subsections that you can go to. Um, as long as I don't see, so as long as I don't see any integration from these bottom ones here, like TV, movies and apps, I don't want to see those in this featured section. I want to see on the Xbox store, if I click on Xbox store, I just want to see Xbox game stuff there first. And then I'd like to, if I want to find it, scroll down and see other stuff. So that's good at the moment. I don't like YouTube app being up there because it's an app, but 
Yeah, I don't really want to see app integration. I just want to see game stuff when I click on the game store. And then it's kind of weird, like, this is like the... If you imagine it's like a website, kind of. This is like the index page. This is your home page. And then if you click on browse games, well, if you imagine it on a, a website, you'd go to the games section. And then... So you go to the games section, but it's got these, like... It's almost as if this section here with its different tabs that you can go to is is separate to the front facing bit that you see, the index page. It's kind of almost as if it's not fully the same thing. It's not got a full house style properly yet. Uh, we've had a few more game previews added and we've also, with E3 happening, we've got a lot of new demos, uh, betas and things like that, open betas which are in there. So make sure you go and grab some of those uh, whilst they're free and whilst they last. There's, some of them are timed as well, so be quick. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's it. Uh, other news, I guess I found an exploit that allows me to uh, make it look like my account is verified. So if you look at my gamer tag at the top left there, it says, I've made it so it's not, it says totally not verified, and it's got a little tick. Um, but it's kind of an exploit, you can just put verified and put a tick. Checked with Xbox and uh, on Twitter Xbox support, and they said there are no verified gamer tags, so it's... A, well, they just said that well, there are no verified gamer tags. So I said, okay, I was like, okay, well, it doesn't really matter then, does it, if people are doing it? So I, I, I just tweeted them back saying, is it against TOS or t Terms of Service? And I never really got a response. So uh, if you see any, like, verified gamer tags or anything like that, don't worry, you're not missing out. You've not, like, missed out on the verify party. Uh, it's just what they've done themselves. They've just exploited this exploit that I've managed to find as well. So uh, I think that's about it, really. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think to the update. Let me know if you're in the preview program and what you think to the updates that you've been getting or like what you think to this one compared to all the updates overall. Are you finding it like as stable as I am, but also things not working like Katana just sort of freaking out on you every now and again? Uh, that's sort of happening to me. Uh, and I'm also, I, I do think it's a lot more stable though. It's weird, it's stable, but things crash more. Like, for example, that ready to install thing that's there and it's more stable because i can just go to it and uh hang on there we go i can just go to it and it's there but cortana doesn't work every now and again for some reason and i have to like reset the whole thing or they're ready to install uh, sorry the queue will freak out and it'll just freeze for no reason and it's just a bit like so yeah when i say it's stable i mean it's like it Nothing crashes, no apps, you know, black screen. Or I've had it happen a lot less. I used to have uh, especially Elite Dangerous and BF4 would be pretty bad for it. Uh, you know, black screen and then going straight back to the... Just back here and then I have to click on the app again to open it up. But since I've had this update, probably, I don't know, was it like a week or so it rolled out? Something like that? A bit less than a week, maybe? Um, everything's been fine. I don't think I've had a single crash, so... Yeah. So thank you very much for your time. Sorry this video is probably a bit longer than you expected it to be, but uh, that's me. I waffle and ramble on for my life. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.